Green Listen. And today I'm going to be talking about the NCAA tournament. So now who knows anything about the NCAA basketball tournament? Anybody? Couple? Alright. So another thing for NCAA, this stands for the National Collegiate Athletic Com Association. So a little history of the NCAA. <clears throat> So a little background before we begin, NCAA tournament started in 1939 when it first began and belonged to the NIT. And NIT stands for the National Invitational Tournament. So what NIT is, it was started in 1909 and it was the first thing of the tournament. And they would, basically it was just, it's like the same, same concept as the tournament now. It's just they play and then whoever the winner is, is the winner. But as they went on, when the two associations came together, they battled for years. So one side, they would go through their side of the tournament, and then the other side would go through their side, and then the two winners of each would play off against each other and to see who the better uh, association was. But they f soon found out that the NCAA was rising in popularity. <clears throat> it went from eight teams to 16, and again to 40 teams. And then by 1980, it had a total of 64 teams that would play in a tournament. <clears throat> but now that NIT was losing popularity, they decided to uh, focus on lower D1 schools and they would play it in their own tournament that was out of the NCAA but then as soon as that happened the NCC, this NCAA side took over and it boomed. Oh, before I that, uh, the guy right here in the corner, that's John Wooden. John Wooden was this very special dude. He played basketball his whole career, and then he went to coaching, and he ended up being a very successful coach. Out of his 12 years at UCLA, he won 10 titles, and out of the 10, he won seven in a row for UCLA. So, fun facts about March Madness. <coughs> so, how did Mar uh, the NCAA basketball tournament get its name? A sportscaster, Brett Musburger, created the saying, March Madness, in 1982. And the odds of filling out a perfect bracket are 1 in 9 quintillion, 223 quadillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million, 775,808. So you have better odds of getting struck by lightning and seeing a snake in your toilet in the same day. <clears throat> so out of the 64 teams that uh, play in the tournament, 35 different teams have won the tournament. But UCLA leads all schools with 11 titles. And what's interesting is that John Wooden has 10 of those under his belt. And only one time as all four number one seeds made it to the final four, and that was in 2008. So like how the tournament works, they do seeding, and it's one through 16, and they rate it by how good their record is. So whoever the top people are, it goes from one to 16. And when you have number one seeds, you have four of them, because there's 64 teams in total, and they all battle to see who gets the top spot. But today in the NCAA, it's uh, today, March Madness is one of a lot of people's favorite things to watch. I mean, it's one of mine, personally, but I know a lot of people that like watching it. And then, <coughs> some, uh, the tournament usually has some of the most fill out gyms by uh, 
Kentucky with he they lead with twenty one thousand people a game at their own home court. And the NCAA has brought in over seven hundred and four point four two bit million dollars. But in conclusion, the men's basketball tournament is a much watched tournament. Thank you.